waking up in this hotel. Epic view. Bushwick, I guess. Brooklyn. Those huge buildings over there are so gnarly. Those are the housing authority, but we were trying to figure out what that thing on the top of that building is. It's insane looking. breakfast and I'm gonna get Sammy J her birthday breakfast she's in bed still right now um, waffles for the dream sorry all right we're rolling out of here and we've seen this thing, it's on Roosevelt Island um, in between Manhattan and Brooklyn, I guess. But we're gonna try and go there because it's a, a cat sanctuary and there's supposedly 75 cats there, but everyone wish Sammy J a happy birthday for the dream. What's the claim? I wanna see some kikis. We saw one yesterday. One. <laughs> All right, we're cruising back to the car. Uh, so you can't park where we're parked anywhere from 8.30 to 10 p or a.m. Uh, so it's 8.15 and hopefully, according to the cop we asked yesterday, you didn't need a permit or anything. So hopefully it was all good there overnight. I don't know, it's pretty bobcat around here. So you never know. Like, what is that for real on top of that building? Mr. Crab. Dude, that pasta truck looks so sick. Hand of doom. Half dead. going on here but the cat sanctuary is supposedly on that bridge somewhere I don't I guess it's not we gotta just see because this is gnarly all right what's the claim okay so we want to find this cat sanctuary because nothing would make me happier than to see Kiki's today but um so it's, we're at Roosevelt Island, which is in New York. Um, and we're gonna read you a little bit of background on it. I guess it used to be called Blackwell, Blackwell Island. Yeah, because of the family, the Blackwell family. All right, so it says the island's most chilling legacy serves as a reminder for how the country once treated its mentally ill. Nestled in the northern corner of the island, an apartment complex now occupies the site of what once stood as the municipal pauper lunatic asylum. It was built in 1839. The asylum epitomized the worst conventions of the 19th century when it came to mental health. It earned its reputation quickly. Um, Charles Dickens, which I'm sure everybody or most people know who that is. Um, Christmas Carol. Yes. Charles Dickens wrote about the horror of this institution in 1843 after visiting the asylum in person. Everything had a lounging, listless, madhouse air, which was very painful. The moping idiot cowering down with long, disheveled, disheveled hair 
the gibbering maniac with his hideous laugh and pointed finger, the vacant eye, the fierce wild face, the gloomy picking of the hands and lips and munching of the nails, Dickens would write. There they were, all without disguise and naked ugliness and horror. That's hard. Read, tell what this site is uh, so people know that we're taking it from a legitimate source. Yes. So politico.com, P-O-L-I-T-I-C-O.com. This is not coming from us. Um, it's coming from <laughs> some Charles website. Dick, it's mainly. Yeah, he wrote some really mean stuff, but we've read something else on here that said that, um, that Roosevelt Island was an island like back in the day where people that had what was it? Smallpox. Smallpox got sent or casted <sighs> off to to stay away from all the people. Pretty much Leper Island. Pretty much Leper Island, yeah, that's what we heard. So I'm I wanna look it up more because I just get the feel that that's what this used to be. So this if anybody's ever heard of Rikers Island this kind of has a similar story, except this happened before they even opened Rikers. So this used to have a... Blackwell Prison. Yeah, it was called Blackwell Prison before, I guess, the pox thing, whatever. But that they used to send everybody to. So that's creepy. And this building right here is the building. I don't know if you... The prison was a maximum security prison for convicted felons such as myself. Okay, so we were Googling and <laughs> actually the giant smallpox hospital is still here and we think the gas sanctuary is there, which is really fucked up, honestly, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's almost too crazy to even go to. I don't believe it, so, but there's smallpox, pictures. Bro. <laughs> there's still contaminants there. Oh, really? Yeah, like you could get it. You're lying. <laughs> All these people have it, dude, I think. Look at this lady. You're lying. <laughs> then what's wrong with her face? <laughs> Wait a second. What? Why do you think it was so weird coming down that little tunnel to get here? Oh, crumbling hospital from 1850s on Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island, no. It says Roosevelt Island Cat Sanctuary. Did you read this before you said no. that? Oh, so it is. In New York City, the southern tip of Blackwell's Island, now Roosevelt Island, provided ferry access but kept the infected patients far away from the population. So now they just keep all the keys there. And it's just not right. Why do the keys have to be exposed to that? It's so mean. We gotta go snatch up these keys though. And bring a smallpox cat back to your house. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we're rolling up to South Point Park right now. This is a heavy, heavy cat exploration, if I've ever seen one. Hopefully they didn't dispose of them or get rid of them and put them somewhere else because we came for the key keys. ever come here? The smallpox hospital? Who would come here? Dude. What's up, doggy? These guys stay hanging out here, huh? Alright, so this is the old smallpox factory. Hospital, I should say. Don't you love how they have a water fountain right next to the smallpox hospital? You want some water? Get some water. Comes with free smallpox. <laughs> Can we take him home? Dude, you can't no. Yes. You can't do that. Here. He doesn't want him. Hi. You're so cute. Do you think he eats cat food? Don't let him bite you though. I don't have nothing. He took my straw though. <laughs> Babe, have him go on your arm. I don't want him to bite me. Whoa! <laughs> no way. Dude, he's honestly so adorable though. He's so cute. Come here. Hey. Hi. You're 
You're so cutie. Maybe that's the squirrel she had and she let him back in the wild. Maybe they're just all like that around here. Hello. Pet them. Hi. Just pet his little head. Come here. Come on. Wow, you're friendly for a little squirrel. <laughs> the abandoned smallpox hospital. Okay. So okay. What's the claim here? We found the Kiki Sanctuary and a squirrel that took my straw out of my coffee, which is so funny. He was like up on my knee. Well, how did we find the cats though? This lady who's down there, she, she, I guess she was walking down here and we were down there and she was like yelling to us and she's like, the cats are right here. So we ran down here, of course. Where are the cats? Kiki's. Hey. We're gonna donate that. Can we feed them? I guess we should. Oh, shit. Hey, hi, baby. You want some bed? These cats are fed very well. They're all black cats, too. They're all so cute. I love black cats. Come here. I won't give you snakes. Houses that they built for now. That's good. I want to see the kikis. Doesn't tell me that I can't go in this fence. They just don't want to hurt any cats. Don't you get that? Yeah, here. You're not gonna, you're the least likely to hurt a cat. I, mean. I don't think he likes it. Eat it. No, he won't. Give it to him. He's fat anyway. He doesn't like you. That's a good idea. Here. Do you want this? They're all your face, too. They're all the look at you sunbathing. This guy is pissing at me. <laughs> He's the guard duck. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> they wonder what's going on here. The guy on the roof. <laughs> so explain a little bit of how cute this is. Hey! Here! <laughs> Oh, he's scared. Yeah, he is though, right? You don't get him. He's just hissing at me. He's the look. There's so there. There's cats in there. Yeah. Oh really? There's like a fence, and uh, I mean this guy's attacking us, dude. This is a guard duck. They've got a guard duck out here, and he's trying to attack us right now. Cause it's the fence is locked, so he jumped over it. He's really and, pissed. Yeah, I think they put this duck here to guard the kikis. For he's, good reason, though. I like the guarding operation. He's so mad right now. I'm actually scared. How do we get out of here? Can't get past that guy. Oh, look. He'll mangle you. They got the whole crew going. <laughs> coming after I'm not down with this duck. Hello, mama. He's coming at my throat. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> the These three. Was this all of them? That's good, right? They come here every day. They have to.
but uh, these cats, these cats are so smart, and they have it so good here. Like literally, their house is nicer than some humans' houses. But she just walked out of there because they have like a little hole right there, just to go to the bathroom. That's how smart they are. They don't piss or shit where they eat. Some of them probably do, but look. Not she's that, covering but she's it the up. mother bird that I did, I think. Yeah, and then these guys just guarding the place trying to attack us. Looks like Bootsy stuff. Looks like Bootsy. <laughs> He's gonna go attack him. I don't have anything. She's trying to take a poop, you're interrupting her. A poop, she just did. She just peed. <laughs>that you wouldn't know about. Sammy knew about it because she lived here, but $2.50 for a sandwich that's better than anything you could get for $8, $10. So they killed over there. What's the claim you have about these cans? Okay, so I guess people, I didn't really see the exact comments or read them. But Turner told me, but people are like, I guess, upset that we didn't, or bragging that we didn't like bring the cans from the last cleanout that we did to the scrapyard and scrap them. But it wasn't just cans in those bags. There was human feces and shit in the bag. So, and I guess on camera it doesn't, because I have, I don't really watch our own videos, but. I know for a fact that it doesn't look as crazy as it actually is on camera. Like, these jobs are fucking gnarly. <laughs> and I don't really complain about them sometimes when I'm working them, but, like, I don't say how actually, like, nasty it is. And it does kind of suck, but, like, it's, it's way harder than it looks, and it's way gnarlier than it looks. Like, it's a lot of work. And to physically take each bag of cans and feces mixed in together and like <laughs> Dude, they had poop do you know what I mean like that's it's just so crazy like that job didn't take one day we had to go back there like three times we're gonna have to go and back again we have again. to go back again so like to do that would just be gnarly if it wasn't there cause I got a whiff of that human shit like a few times and it was crazy like I don't like it made me just want to just drop the bag and just not do the job so like for me to actually go into the bag and like you gotta come up right there. aren't you about to get a big uh, uh buffalo chicken cheesesteak though or something yes from Primo's alright but yeah I just wanted to say that cause like I mean I know the comments weren't like mean or anything but like dude if it was you you know damn <laughs> Sticking her hand at them nasty ass bags to separate those like kids. It's not worth it, dude, because pink eye, you know what I mean? It's fucking airborne and it's contagious, and I'm not trying to get feces in my eye because that would just suck. Uh, also, it's like 300, or I mean, like 200 cans 
per pound. Oh, dude, we had 700 cans of bags. Which there was like at least like 20 cans in each bag. So do the math. It would have only been like $40, literally. It's not worth it. At least for Pink Guy, it's not worth it. No, but people get, you guys get deposits in certain states on each can. They don't do that, and some people are uh, saying... New Jersey's not like, like, uh, no. New York or something where you get five cents a can. It's not like that here. It's so. all straight up aluminum, and it takes, like, a whole lot of cans. Like, a whole trash can full of cans crushed, and I got, like, ten dollars, eight dollars. So, like, all that together would have been, like, maybe fifty bucks to dig through all that. And would have taken a whole nother full day, honestly, at that rate. But, uh, we're almost back home. And my mom just called, wished Sammy a happy birthday, and said she's gonna get us dinner, so. Epic! You! Yeah, get to see the Kikis, like More Mama, cheese. and Zuzu, and Freckles, and Batman, and Wolvie, and, and June, and, and Barb, and Fish Sticks. All right, we just got back from New York. Um, got a package in the mail from the way it was jingling inside there. And from our previous experiences with the mail, we thought it was broken, but bam, wasn't broken. This on my keychain and this because it's a full light. So we got all these cat stuff. And I so totally use legendary. these, sir. No, no. no <laughs> I used to light. use these as no-no's little light lights if you wanted to sleep in a different room. But this is awesome. So many key stuff. Canadian key. Key key. I love that. Literally a key chain. Key chain. A cute little bracelet. This. Very nice. Who was that from? It was from CJ and Bonnie. And this one is from... Wait a second. I put the money in my pocket. Rob from Capital. And Canada. I'll open these while I'm here. This is from the veterinarian. Hental Rob. All the way from Ontario, we got that all that Kiki stuff from our friend Rob, and he wrote us an awesome letter. Thank you so much, Kiki. Dreams. And all the nurses there, and it's just sand. I don't know if they normally do this. I guess they do because it's nice. Mm. No, no. But it's like a condolences card. These are all the nurses that knew. No, no. Did you tell anyone what happened? Oh, so we were almost home from New York and we got a call from the vet. And she said that Arlo's ready to be picked up. Meaning his, his ashes were ready to be picked up. And the paw prints that we got, the clay paw prints. And it's my birthday, so I just felt like it was special like it was Arla's way of saying that I'm here alright we got a card for Prince Lolo Cincinnati Ohio okay it says everywhere Prince Lolo's song Please believe that my spirit is close and I am everywhere because those who are truly loved are never lost and it is my claim that I'll remain in your heart and your memories and your smile as you stare stories of the silly times, play times and snuggle times and all the love, loyalty and happiness I brought. And when the day comes when we will all meet once again and run free, we'll continue on our journey meant to be because please remember we share a strong bond and made many vows of promises for forever and ever and ever. And forever means Big Buddy's bestest friends for keeps. Celebrating the very special spirit of Prince Lolo. It's a little too much to even deal with. But 
but thank you. So we got this awesome card from Canada. And it's pretty much just saying you have the same passions as me with your scrap and what you do. And he put Arlo on his YouTube page as his main profile picture because he's a great cat and he's now an angel to the heavens. He said R.I.P. Lola uh, from Rob from Capital City, Canada. Sent a bag of treasures. Love is in the air. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Love, love, love. Oh, shit. Staple to the back, but I'm keeping that card. Cards, I pretty much have every card we ever got in the mail. I think all of them. And then he gave his phone number. If you need to call him ever. Thank you. And we saw that you had Prince Lola on your page before you ever told us because we looked at it and said, that looks like Lola. And then Sammy <laughs> said, wait a second, that looks like Nona. And I was like, you know why it looks like Nona? Because that is Nona. <laughs> <laughs> it was a picture of him in the house where my grandfather lives. So, I'm taking one of these and put on my hat. Which one do you want? Purple you one, should right? put that one on here. I'll put it on now. No, no. I like this kiki life. About this kiki life. We had a Paris Hilton Chihuahua somewhere. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, yeah, because we got her to give us a paw print when she was here. Like, we thought that was cool or something. We thought that was cool. How, and then we hated uh, Chihuahuas, but then we got Jack. Yeah. Paw print I couldn't stand Chihuahuas because... Her chihuahua came in like a bat out of hell, pissed on my floor, and bit Jay, and had a fight with Isabel and I to lock Isabel off the whole show. And then she was like, oh, your dog's going to kill my dog. Is she Jay getting engaged this weekend? I don't know. I asked her. I asked her if she was eloping or she was pregnant or something. No. But then I told Dirk, to are we ready for this? Cage. He's just as funny. Are we ready? All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sammy. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. I am. Yay! Can't tell your wish. It I know what it is. Me. It has to do with cats. <laughs> she hopes she know? gets a wish. <laughs> it's not fair. And some presents from the cab. Busy making a fucking difference. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Epic. Turn it over. Busy no. making a fucking difference. No, these are so <laughs> epic. How'd you find these? That's so funny. It's true. It's so true. With the kiki life. And feeding squirrels. Look at my key. I got two kiki keychains today. Let me see the it's other side. Too, it's oh, not it's black. Just a black. Like it looks like my tattoo on the <laughs> back of my ear. <laughs> Paw print from Arlo, and we're gonna give it to Bob. What's the birthday claim for the end of the night? Good night or good morning. <laughs> and thank you for all the birthday wishes. So cutie. All right, we're back at the house. We had an epic birthday couple days, Sammy J style. Um, and we're deciding that we might actually go back to Roosevelt Island because it was so awesome and the cats were so damn cute and the squirrel was so awesome. But yeah, we just, we just, uh, got some pizza. No, no, I got us pizza and I bought a cake and we had some birthday claims over at my house in Longport, my mom's house. And all in all, we just had a great, great, extremely memorable awesome couple days that we spent together and if you ever have an opportunity to just go on little trips like that it didn't cost much uh just seize the opportunity seize the day carpe diem whatever they say because you never are going to get that time back so cherish it and spend the time with the people that you love the most as much time as you can and don't waste it don't squander 
uh, your time and your money on stupid things because you only get one life. But uh, Sammy J, happy birthday. I love you. I love you. And good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning for some more claims. You! 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 <laughs>